Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the glory and praise, the larger book, number 657. 657, we are the light of the world. Blessed are they who are poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of God. Bless us, O Lord, make us poor in spirit, bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world, may our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Blessed are they who are meek and humble, they will inherit the earth. Bless us, O Lord, make us meek and humble, bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world, may our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Blessed are they who will mourn in sorrow, they will be comforted. Bless us, O Lord, when we share their sorrow. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Bless those who hunger and thirst for justice, they will be satisfied. Bless us, O Lord, hear our cry for justice. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather on this feast of St. Monica, we ask her intercession. As we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Ted Zaharchuk, Antonio Coalillo, Marie Herlicka, and Martino Miliacho. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy. For he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of St. Monica for the conversion of her son, Augustine, Grant us, through the intercession of them both, that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we ask and urge you in the Lord Jesus that as you learn from us how you ought to live and to please God, as in fact you are doing, you should do so more and more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from fornication, that each one of you know how to control your own body in holiness and honor, not with lustful passion like the Gentiles who do not know God that no one wrong or exploit a brother or sister in this matter. Because the Lord is an avenger in all these things, just as we have already told you beforehand and solemnly warned you. For God did not call us to impurity, but in holiness. Therefore, whoever rejects this rejects not human authority, but God who also gives his Holy Spirit to you. The word of the Lord. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. Let the many coastlands be glad. Cloud and thick darkness are all around him. 
Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness, and all the peoples behold his glory. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful. He rescues them from the hand of the wicked. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Be watchful, pray constantly, that you may be worthy to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told this parable to his disciples. The kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. When the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. But at midnight there was a shout, Look, here is the bridegroom. Come out to meet him. Then all those bridesmaids got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, No, there will not be enough for you and for us. You had better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went in to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went with him into the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later the other bridesmaids came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I tell you, I do not know you. Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Saint Monica, one of my favorite saints of the Church, a woman who has much to teach us, this humble mother, was a disciple of prayer. She prayed and prayed and prayed. She prayed especially for the conversion of her son who was dealing with the same issue that the early church was dealing with, lust. It's the same issue that the church continues to deal with in 2021, how we do not use our bodies at times as temples of the Holy Spirit and see our sexuality as a gift from God. St. Monica prayed for 18 years for the conversion of her son, St. Augustine, whose feast day we'll celebrate tomorrow. She trusted that God would hear her prayers. And she passed away in the same year of St. Augustine's baptism, his conversion. She was rewarded for her persistence in prayer by a God who hears the prayers of mothers and fathers. She is one of the patron saints of all mothers, who teaches us, especially for those of you, my brothers and sisters, that have children who have fallen away from faith. It is your responsibility, like Monica did, to continue to pray for your children, to continue to encourage them to become closer to God. That I pray it takes 18 seconds for their conversion. But if it takes a long time, like Monica, will Jesus find you and me like the wise bridesmaids who are ready for when the king is coming? Or have we written them off? Oh, they're never going to change. If you're not praying for them, who is? If you're not going to pray for them, who is? And so it is so important that we see in this humble African woman who understood the power of prayer and who teaches us that we too need to focus on the power of prayer to inspire us to grow in holiness and to also be prayer warriors. 
St. Monica, pray for us. Trusting in the Lord's goodness, we bring before him our prayers and petitions. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for seminarians throughout the world, especially those of our diocese. May the Holy Spirit continue to guide their discernment and sustain them in their formation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all civic leaders, may the Lord bless them with a hunger for justice and truth, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For compassionate caregivers, may the Lord strengthen and encourage them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community of faith here at St. Joseph, may the Holy Spirit help us to persevere in prayer and like St. Monica, grow in holiness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan and Haiti, that God may help them to rebuild their lives, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Ted and Antonio, Marie and Martino, the holy souls in purgatory and all who have died. That together with all the saints, they may be welcomed into the heavenly banquet, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. Loving and eternal God, hear these petitions we have brought before you and answer them, we pray, in accordance with your holy will. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. We bring you these sacrificial gifts, O Lord, to commemorate St. Monica, humbly entreating that they may bestow on us both pardon and salvation through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Ted and Antonio, Marie and Martino, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Monica and Saint Augustine, Saint Catherine of Alexandria and Saint Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. 
May the working of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, almighty God, on this feast day of St. Monica, that we may be ever fervent with holy desires and abound in good works. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. There is no holy hour today because of the funeral. Blessed are they who show others mercy, they shall know mercy too. Bless us, O Lord, hear our cry for mercy. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Blessed are hearts that are clean and holy, they will behold the Lord. Bless us, O Lord, make us pure and holy. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Blessed are they who bring peace among us. They are the children of God. Bless us, O Lord, may your peace be with us. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Bless those who suffer from persecution, theirs is the kingdom of God. Bless us, O Lord, when they persecute us, bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world, may our light shine before all that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. God bless you. Have a good day.